Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here, and uh, this is All Things Personal Finance, channel that helps you with your money. And here is your unemployment update for Friday, November 27, 2020. Yes, TGI Friday. Find out how the state gathered unemployment residents to help this Thanksgiving. Real touching story. How this state is getting help from Google to clear all of its unemployment backlog, which is fabulous. I hope most more states do the same. And how lawmakers are demanding answers from Bank of America CEO, who has frozen so many accounts. And we talked about it before, about the blame game, and we both called it, you and I, after this. For the best news and information to master your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel where we're all things personal finance to help you get the money and help you make the money that you're looking to get. Also, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the video channel and also hit the bell to receive notifications, like the video. If you subscribe, like, and comment, we're picking somebody when we get to 120,000 subscribers and we're giving $1,200 away to a random comment. So, and cheat, go put a random comment in the last four or five videos. That way your, your entered to win goes up. And also grab your Weeble stock down below. You get three stocks for free. One could be valued up to $1,500. You know, we try and help you on this channel as much as possible. But first, a Florida unemployment network created a social media train. Yes, a social media meal train, which is fabulous to feed those struggling on Thanksgiving. More than 2 million Floridians collected unemployment at the same point since March and that created a network of people who came together on social media to navigate the crisis together. You know, they say that negative news travels six times faster. This is fabulous. This is positive news and how social media is actually bringing people together like never before. Community activist Vanessa Burrito offered on Facebook to buy a few meals for those in her native South Florida still struggling with unemployment. This is so fabulous that, that we can connect like this through Facebook. The next thing she knew, people across the state were chiming in, both asking and offering help like that. It went viral. Imagine that. Viral, not just in click and likes. And if you like the video so far, please <laughs> click like. Um, but literally people got up and they did something about it. Whether it was turkey in Tampa or mashed potatoes in, in Miami, it became a social media meal train for Florida's unemployed by Florida's unemployed. This is just fabulous. How wonderful of Florida residents to help out each other um, where they can and at, at a time that um, is so strange right now. Isn't this really a strange Thanksgiving? I know we stayed in and didn't really do anything. I saw a couple of pictures where a close family under the same roof were having dinner, but many people were very responsible as a result of the virus to make sure that they didn't, you know, uh, come around each other. And up next, the new leader of the state's workforce development agency in Wisconsin set a goal of clearing unemployment backlog before 2021 after Google helps clear 103,000 claims in one week. It's amazing when you got the best technology in the world that's instant. Google is unbelievable, unbelievable with technology. And they cleared 103,000 claims in a week, this ancient, archaic, systems we have. I hope more states will jump on board and ask Google for help. If I was uh, running a state, I certainly would ask Google for help. Amy Pacek, uh, yeah, interim director of uh, the Department of Workforce Development said, quote, um, Google technology allowed the agency, which has struggled for months, even since the beginning of March, to clear 103,000 claims in one week. Um, as you know, and you've seen so much in the comments, we have people that are stuck in July, people stuck in June, people still stuck in March. 
So I wish more states would get on board and get the help they need, just ask for it. The backlog has kept thousands of um, Wisconsin residents waiting on desperate need of unemployment payments. Can you imagine waiting all this time and not getting your backlog cleared? P Pichard stated that the department is now able to work through claims in the backlog as much at a much faster rate faster speed and those waiting to hear back should start to see mo movement on their claims within the next couple of weeks which is absolutely fantastic it's fantastic news for the residents of wisconsin and impressive of the department to get rid of those old outdated ridiculous systems that so many of them have 20 or 30 years just just crazy and finally, if matters there, backlogs weren't bad enough. And we've been talking about this for weeks, about how California has just gone full, you know what. And finally, <laughs> California Unemployment Department has been under fire recently, but now lawmakers are demanding unemployment answers from Bank of America CEO. You remember we talked about this before, about how they're playing the blame game, because who is ultimately going to be responsible for the fraud. Bank of America has a contract with California, the EDD, the, and uh, with that contract comes some responsibility. So is Bank of America going to be responsible for those fraudulent claims if they release those cards? Or will EDD be responsible? A bar bipartisan group in California, lawmakers is asking Bank of America CEO Brian Mayahan for answers about unemployment payments problems who uh, really rely on the bank's prepaid debit card. They put all those benefits on the debit card to be able to spend. A letter detailing how the state's exclusive unemployment payment contract with the bank has been strained with fraud, unprecedented demand, and freezing, yes, 350,000 unemployment debit cards. So if you weren't committing fraud, you're stuck and there's like no process to be able to really get it resolved. A letter which was signed by more than three dozen state senators and assemblymen stated, quote, it is simply unacceptable that California entitled to benefits and suddenly not able to obtain them due to Bank of America's determination that is impossible to appeal. Meaning they can't say, hey, uh, I, my, my payments, it, it, they're real and I should get my funds. They don't even have that appeals process. Lawmakers are demanding answers um, in the criteria of how, why accounts are being frozen, why these freezed accounts and seized jobless benefits and who's responsible for paying the fraudulent claims. So we've got like three parts here that are kind of ugly, right? We've seized the money, we've taken it out, and then who's going to be responsible for paying back the fraud? Because so much fraud, we even covered one guy that got $1.2 million, a rapper who rapped about it, getting rich off the EDD was his rap quote, right? It's interesting how they, can get, how they can't get a resolution from Bank of America. They're looking for a response to the crisis as soon as possible. And these lawmakers, they're not playing around. They want answers now. And uh, they're just like senators in a, for the federal government, senators and assembly people run states. So they are powerful in their state. That's a little, little federal government a state is. If you still haven't applied for your unemployment assistance, even with all this chaos and drama, make the most of your weekend and go ahead and just fill out your application. If you are possibly entitled to this money, make sure that you get it. Check out your state's PUA, which is the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, and the UI website. Upload your employment history and documents and let them know that you're currently out of work to the virus. Due to the virus, if it is the truth, if you have been out of work because of that, um, and let them know because they've set up something especially for you. You always want to answer truthfully as possible that you'll be, still be eligible for these backdated unemployment checks of ten dollars to $15,000. A lot of people think that they got to make up something. You don't. If you're a gig worker, a self-employed independent contractor, 1099, even a side hustle or volunteer or freelancer, you can claim these unemployment benefits through the PUA. I know you didn't pay into a system. They're okay with that. They don't care that you didn't pay into unemployment insurance. 
You can get this through the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, which is a program that was set up for you. But there's not much time, so don't waste it. Get these incredible uh, government benefits as soon as possible. They end December 31st. That way you can get the money that you're entitled to and that you deserve. Keep sharing your experience with the PUA and unemployment benefits in your state. Please stay safe out there. I hope you're enjoying this holiday weekend with uh, Black Friday, uh, Small Business Saturday, and of course, Cyber Monday. I don't know what happened to Sunday. I guess we're going to church. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Andrew Cartwright. Take care. I love you.